Hey Jackals, in today's video we'll take a look how to make twinkling spinning stars by using DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. I'll be making this in the fusion composition, so go to the media pool, right click, make a new fusion composition, you can give it a name, change the duration if you want, make it, put it down to the timeline, you can also change the duration here at any time that you want, then select the clip and go into the fusion page. Now you can do this in a couple of ways, you can use an image, you can use polygons or you can use shapes. In this case I'll be using the shapes. If you want to know how to make a custom toolbar in the fusion page, I have a video on how to do that. Otherwise you can go to the effects, tools, find shapes and you'll have all of the shapes that you need right here. So I'll be using the star, the shape render node so that we can see it and then we'll make the changes that we want. Now in this case this could just be an image or a polygon but because I'm using a shape this is what I'll be using. So I'll be using four points, I'll adjust the depth to what I feel like it's good. You can also adjust the border width and play around with all of the other settings. This is the basic shape but now I'll also make an animation and I'll add an ellipse I'll simply merge the two nodes, but I could also use an S boolean if I wanted to. So this will not be a solid border width, maybe 0.02. And as for the animation, it will start at zero. Now the width and the height have to be equal, so I'll simply type in equals here, connect the width to the height, so I can have an animation like this. So the size will start at 0, 1 frame 0, then maybe frame 15. It will come to this point. And I also want to animate the border width from maybe this point on, so it fades away. And it will stop at frame 30. And it will go to 0. So this is just a basic animation. Maybe something like this, you can play around with the values if you want. I'll just go to frame 15 and also make the star disappear by changing the size. So I'll also put in equals here and connect it to the height. Then simply keyframe it, go to frame 30 and make the star also disappear. So maybe something like this. So this is now basically my image, so if you want to use an image, you can simply use it instead of all of these nodes. And now we'll be using the particles to drive the emitter, and to see it we also need a particle render node. So like this, we have a bunch of particles. In this case, we want to spawn them not from a sphere, but maybe from a rectangle. And if I go to width, one is OK and, and maybe 0 0.6 so we cover the whole screen. Now if we want to connect this to the particle emitter we can't as you can see. So you have to go to the style and change the style from point to bitmap. And now I can basically use the image or this composition. Now we have a bunch of stars that spawn at the beginning but then they fade away and nothing else happens. So first in the controls, I'll set the lifespan to 15. Now I have a lot of particles, so I'll simply change the number to 1. Then I can also use the velocity if I want the stars to move in any direction. By default, they will move to the right. As you can see, if you change the angle to minus 90. Now if you use minus 90 in the angle Z, the stars or the image, whatever you use, will move towards you and if you use 90, they will move away from you. So I'll just use minus 90. We can also use the spin if you want to add some spin to it because currently they all have the same direction. So maybe 10 on the Z and this will make them spin continuously as you can see. If you use a higher value they will spin super fast. 
and even this might be a bit too much so maybe five degrees I think this is okay then what else do you want in the styles you can change the color if you want and also you can change the color over life and the color variance if you so want I'll just leave it as white so that I can change the color of all of the particles we have the fade control so maybe let's see I'll use 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 and the important part is the size variance or the size over life so we can start like this and end like this but we also had a midpoint maybe something like this we'll see how that looks currently it doesn't look the best but what you want to achieve with this is for the bigger size not be too big so in this case what I want to do is also maybe add size variance but in this case 0 0.05 and maybe I'll also change this one to 0 0.05 so I think this is okay now all of the particles spawn at the same time and end at the same time so we don't have anything after that point so after frame 30 which is the animation that we've made we basically don't have anything so in the animate in the practical emitter style change the animate from overtime to practical age and this will now make a continuous animation just like that now if the speed is too fast simply change the velocity to something that is slow so maybe something like this so if I go to the beginning you can see the animation that will happen it only happens once this is the animation but inside here the practical emitter will simply use this animation and make a bunch of stars spawn simple as that now you can make a macro out of this so that you can simply use this on another clip you could then also maybe add a solid so let's add a solid and change the color of it and as you can see you'll simply have an overlay with stars that you can use on any clip that you want and if you found this video helpful give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content and until next time jackals keep it digital